I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to dial in a rock rig from scratch on the Fractal FM9, the latest addition to the Fractal lineup. This one bridges the gap between the super streamlined FM3 and the all powerful Axe FX3. To do so, I'm plugging my PRS Custom 24 straight into the FM9 and you are going to be hearing the USB audio output straight into Pro Tools with no post processing. So to get started, let's use the quick build feature in FM9 Edit to just drop some blocks onto the grid. Let's start with an amp and a cab. I will be using dual amps in this preset, so I'll add two amps in here to get started. I wouldn't mind having an independent clean and crunch sound, so I might add a compressor before amp 2 down here. This will be my clean amp and this will be my dirty amp up here. You know, I love delay, so we'll have some delay in this preset for a few scenes. I love reverb on here. And maybe let's add something like a drive pedal and a phaser in front of the amp blocks just to have some extra variety on the tone. So I'm going to bypass the effect blocks on here to get started. I, of course, need input and output blocks, which I can easily drag and drop, and then I need to cable everything up. I think of the grid as like having a virtual studio at my fingertips. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to click the right part of this far left block and connect it to the left part of this far right block. Very, very easy in there. Then we've got a cable running all the way across here. And if I start off with this Cameron CCV 2A amp, and I come in here and select one of my favorite cabs. This is actually a user cab, which you can get for free from Axchange. It's LTTV Mix 7. We're going to start with this amp, this cabinet impulse, and a medium room reverb. Let's hear it. <laughs> It's already awesome, kind of like a brown sound style thing going on there. What I'm going to do to the amp block just to get started is set its bypass mode to mute. With this second amp block, which hasn't been connected yet, I need to cable this up. So let's do that. I'll take a cable from this block here, split it to the compressor, split it to the amp block down here, and then I'll connect this second amp up to the cabinet here. Now I'm going to set the bypass mode of this amp to mute as well and bypass it. I'm actually going to leave the compressor on over here to get started. So basically, because this amp is bypassed and set to mute, it's not going to pass any audio. So I still have the same sound. <laughs> So I'm going to hit save on this, and that's going to be my very first scene. What I'm going to do is I am going to go to scenes. I'm going to copy this scene to scene two. So I'll have exactly the same effects bypass. I'm going to have this exact scene over here and look at that. What I'm going to do, though, is I am going to bypass this first amp and engage the second amp. I've got it set as the AC20 12AX7 treble. There is a compressor in line at the moment. Let's just hear it. So that's a pretty cool starting point for like a gritty edge of breakup sound on there. I'm going to change the compressor to get started. I love the sound of this JFET compressor. I'm just going to turn the compression down a little bit. We get this. And now I'm going to tweak this amp model. If we just stick to the tone page on here, we've got two main controls, tone and high cut. It's a little bit bright with this split position on my PRS. I'm just going to turn the high cut up to around five. We get this. And I like that swapping to the neck pickup really fattens things up there. It's essentially representing what's coming out of the guitar there. So what's really cool about this particular setup at the moment, because I've got each amp block set 
to a mute bypass mode, if I swap between scene one and scene two, I'm gonna have seamless switching between my low gain sound and my high gain sound. Let's check it out. <laughs> Fantastic, and I'm gonna to wanna to use that and utilize it across all of the scenes on here. So anything using that clean app with the compressor can switch seamlessly to anything using the high gain app on there. Let's go back to this high gain setting on here because I actually wanna just dial it in a little bit more on there for this particular guitar. I'm actually gonna start with slightly less drive on this amp model, and I'm just gonna turn the main controls up to about seven, which seems to work really well for a kind of modified Marshall style thing. That is close enough. Let's check it out. Now that would be great as a rock rhythm guitar tone. What I want though is that with more gain, and some delay on it. So let's start out by just getting the effects right, then we're gonna save it to a new scene. So I am going to select one of these drive models in here. There's so many great ones, but one of my personal favorites in the real world is the Super OD. So just turn the drive down a little bit, turn the tone up a bit and crank the level. Let's have a listen to what this does when I kick it in. <laughs> Awesome. It's just making everything dirtier and nastier and I'm getting more sustain out of it, which is what I want for a lead sound. The other part of my lead sound is going to be having a delay. So let's engage the delay. I am going to select this stereo BBD delay down here. I want my delays to be tempo synced. So I'm going to select a tempo of a quarter note and I love dual delays. So I'm going to set this left right time ratio to 75%. Turn the mix up a bit, got the drive on. This is a pretty awesome lead sound now. I'm pretty happy with that. I would also like to have a scene which is a variation on this which uses a phaser. So I'm gonna select the Script 90 phaser, turn the rate down a little bit. Let's have a listen to what that does on there. So let's organize these into scenes so far. I still want scene one to be my dirty scene, scene two to be my clean scene. Let's bypass the phaser, the drive, and the delay so that I've got these on scene one, and I can name this crunch if I like, or dirty, or any other name you like. Scene two, you remember, was my clean sound with nothing else aside from the reverb, so let's just call this clean over here. I actually might want to add something like a chorus to this, so let's come up here, let's add a chorus effect to the clean sound. I really like the way the Dimension 2 sounds with the rate down around 0.5 hertz. I'll leave the mix where it is and just kind of turn the depth down a little bit. Let's have a listen to what this chorus sounds like. <laughs> That is awesome. I love the way that sounds. Let's hit save over there. And I'm just gonna go back to scene one and make sure the chorus is not on scene one. And we will copy scene one to scene three, then move over to scene three. I'm gonna engage the drive and the delay and let's call this lead. So then I've got my lead scene and we'll have a listen to it. <laughs> That is what I want right there. And then we'll copy scene number three over to scene number four and I'll call it lead two. This will have the phaser on there. And you know what, let's kick in the chorus as well, just for good measure, because I can. This is my over the top lead now. <laughs> hit 
hit save on that one. Again, let's go over to scene five now because I wouldn't mind having some kind of ambient style clean. So I'm gonna bypass my dirty amp. I am gonna leave the phaser on, but I'm actually gonna change it over to a different type of phaser. Let's go to channel B in here and let's select the barber pole phaser. Again, I just like it with a low rate. We will leave the compressor on for this scene and let's go to the chorus block over here. You know what, I'll leave that as is. I'm gonna turn on a delay, but I'm gonna to go to channel B over here and I want a slightly different delay tone for this. Let's actually just do this. We'll reset the current channel on here so I can go back to the stock settings. I'm gonna bring up the mono tape delay over here and set it for like a 600 millisecond delay. I'll turn the mix up quite high on here with plenty of feedback. You know what, I can actually use this here. I'm gonna turn up the feedback on head one and bump the master feedback. I'll also add a second echo head on here and just kind of pan these out very slightly. So I've got this dual delay. I'll go into the EQ section as well and bring the high cut frequency down. So it's a very dark sounding delay. Furthermore, I'm gonna use a different channel on the reverb block because I wanna use one of these pitched reverbs. I'm gonna use Ursa Major and this is gonna be my big gorgeous ambient clean sound. I've named that scene ambient. Let's copy this one over to scene six because what I wanna do now is take that same totally over the top ambient sound. I'm actually just gonna use this clean platform. I'm gonna bypass the compressor and I'm gonna use a different drive on here. Let's use say the face fuzz over here. I'll crank the drive up on there and I'll call it ambient fuzz. That kind of seems appropriate. So let's enter that and let's kick it in and have a listen to what it does. <laughs> quickly recap what I've got going on in this preset. The very first scene is a straight up rock and roll crunch. <laughs> That can then seamlessly switch to this kind of gritty clean sound. I've called it a clean sound. You might call it a dirty sound or an edge of breakup sound. A compressor, a chorus, and the AC20. I can then switch that into my lead sound, which gives me a drive pedal as a boost and some delay. And then I've got two different ambient scenes, a very clean one with the Ursa Major reverb and one which adds a fuzz face. <laughs>
amazing thing about this, you can see I'm using an ultra high reverb. I'm using two amps in here. I've got a bunch of effects. I've still got space to use a bunch of other effects in here that are available, but the preset's only running at 47% CPU. So the FM9 is an absolute beast, whether you want to use it as a basic rock rig or you want to make absolutely amazing ambient textural sounds. If you've got any further questions, let me know in the comment section below or any FM9 specific content you would like me to make for these Tuesday Tone Tips. Until next week, have a great week and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.